All right, it's another day and I'm not really sure where we left off the last time. But anyways, today we're gonna start working on the brakes a little bit more serious. Uh, for this reason, I have pulled some stuff here from Eugene's Magic Box. And he has this fantastic tool from Eastwood. I don't even know how to use it yet, but we're gonna learn together. He also has this uh, kit, which is for 316s and double flaring, which is uh, for on car. I mean, when the brake line is still on the car, you can use this to do it easily, but I don't think we're gonna need it because all our brake lines are gonna be out of the car when we work on them, I guess. He also gave me this vacuum too, so I can bleed the brakes after, but I don't think I'm gonna have to use that because I have my own this one. So probably this is what we're gonna use, but that's gonna be when we get there. For now, we have to use this. This is tube cutter. Uh, that I believe is a, a deburring tool. So for the inside of the tube and the outside of the tube. And this, I'm not really sure. This I think belongs to another kit that he has. But anyways. Um, also, I have my own bending tool. These are the flexible hoses I showed you the last time. Initially, I ordered this uh, copper tubing 316s that comes with some fittings, but I followed Eugene's advice who told me that the steel fittings are not really good. So I, it's okay if I use the copper tube, but the fittings I should have ordered stainless. And that's what I did. So I ordered stainless tubing and fittings a kit with multiple fittings different sizes but then i realized that's not gonna come in the next two weeks so i went ahead and i ordered another 25 feet separately of brake tubing and stainless steel uh 316s 25 feet and those fittings i ordered separately and they came within two days so i guess that's what we're gonna use this we're gonna leave for some other jobs so uh, first of all, I want to open the tool and see how it works. We're going to make a test flaring somewhere and then we're going to go ahead and start doing our brakes. Holy moly guacamole. How does this thing work? So I've seen, well, we can pump it on the vice, on the vice as a beginning, maybe this way so you can see, or this way so you can see. It's meant to go this way, I guess, but you're not gonna see. Okay, let's try this way, even though it's not meant to be this way. But my vice is not really secure on the table, but it is what it is. All right, so we have here, what do we have? Operation zero, it's operation one, three sixteenths, operation one, quarter inch, operation two for three sixteenths, quarter inch, or and four seventy five, so operation one for five sixteenths, three eighths. Okay, so we need to use operation one for three sixteenths and operation two for three sixteenths and operation zero. Okay, so this is operation zero. I watched some videos about Eastwood kits, but I didn't find one for these two. I found one for a little bit different, but it looks like they work in a similar way. So here inside we have a block, which is oh, nice. So this is for 316 and 475 millimeters. So we need 316. So that's the block we need, but here there's more blocks for quarter inch for 475 and 38 and whatever. Good, so the 316th box is inside. There is some tubing that Eugene left in the box, so we're gonna use it for test. Well, so it's shorter than this, we're not gonna be able. We have to make the flare before we bend it, right? Okay, so we're gonna put it like that. 
a little bit further out we're gonna just snug it a little bit and then and then with the operation zero we have to push it all the way in so it's just snug now it's not tight so, okay so that's where we have to have it exactly so now we can tighten it completely wow that's fantastic then we have to go to the operation one uh two here operation one for three sixteenths and we're gonna do the operation one so we have to go all the way wow my vice is moving so i guess we have to go all the way until it bottoms out <coughs> or no I don't know how deep do we need to go I can't go deeper than that so and then we have to go to operation 2 2 supposed to drop down yes operation 2 well I guess that's how far it goes let's see now what have we done There you go. Wow. That's fantastic. Wow. I believe the stainless line is a little bit harder than that. But we're not going to make a test with it. We're going to go ahead and cut our line to the length that we need. And we're going to make our test directly on the line. So we're going to start with the shortest line here that we have. That's what it needs to look like. So it has fittings on both ends, so we shouldn't forget those before we go ahead and do the flaring. Been there, done that. So the last curves, the last turns here, this one and this one, maybe we should leave for later. We're just gonna leave this a little bit longer and then we're gonna cut it down, I guess. So here is where we're going to do our bend. I'm just going to do it by hand for now. That's how we're going to go ahead. Maybe we should try and use the two. far you know what I don't like that too much okay, I'm gonna cut it here that's gonna make things easier Okay, that should do for now. Now, this is the tricky part because I can't make this last bend here because it's not gonna fit on the two. And I just have to estimate how long I need to cut it here before I bend it. So if we say this part is this part and then we match them somehow like this and then the fitting So this is where we need to cut it. Already wasted two and a half inches. <laughs> so now we're gonna use the deep burring tool, which on this side should clean up nicely the outside, and this should clean up nicely the inside. I'm doing it this way so all the shavings come out hopefully now the very important part don't forget your feeling I'm talking to myself here not to you okay. so oops 
Operation Zero. Push it all the way in. There. Tighten. Operation One, three sixteenths. You know what? I'm gonna do something. I have lots of flaring and I'm sure that one of these times I'm going to go to the wrong size. That's why I'm going to put this tape here to tell me which one is the right one. Operation one. Let's see how far we can go now. Operation two. whole bend. I knew the stainless is going to be harder to do, right? <clears throat> that's it. I can't go more than that. Yeah, that's it. Well, let's do the other one. So now it's not going to be very easy for you to see, but it's easier for me to work, guys, so I'm sorry. You think you Ha! I hear you. I hear you guys. I hear you. Too late. Oh, you should have yelled louder. <laughs> Actually, you can feel it when it stops moving. You can feel how hard, how far it goes. That's it. Okay. Well, I just have to get used to it. There you go. Perfect. So we have the first line. We just need to bend here last the last one all right so we have two of the lines ready like i tried to match pretty much the bend but we'll see if i bend, bend it right so this other one you know i took out in four separate pieces now this one since it's in pieces it's gonna be hard to follow but like i said before my friend eugene gave me a uh, set of lines here these are fuel lines but also they have this long brake line which goes with them i'm gonna try to take it out and see how well it matches my four pieces well unfortunately his line doesn't match my line somehow there's something different and i tried it the other way around like this so, but still nothing matches so looks like he might have taken it out of uh, TJ because he owns few TJs, few YJs. So it looks like this is not gonna help me much, unfortunately. But anyways, thanks Eugene, you tried. <laughs> so we still have to work with mine. Well, the only problem with mine is that I don't know how this, for example, if this, if this goes, for example, if this goes like this, or it goes like this, like, you know, but I guess we're gonna have to guesstimate it somehow. Well, I'm just coming home and this is what I'm finding in the front door. So I guess that's how they deliver stuff nowadays. All right, guys, so finally, uh, the rest of my kit arrived. Even though you saw how they put it in the snow, I really don't appreciate that. It's true that it snowed today and I didn't shovel outside the snow because I wasn't home. But anyways, I'm happy that I finally have the rest of my kit. Or do I? <laughs> I actually don't because I have the springs, I have all the U-boats, I have the 
insert for the bushing. I have the big bushings for this side, but the small bushings for this side I still don't have. They actually let me know that they didn't have eight, they had seven, and they said that they were gonna send seven, and they were gonna send the eight one when they have it, which is supposedly in a week or so. But anyways, they didn't send them. So I'm hoping that in a week they're gonna send the eight bushings that I need for this side of the springs. So we have all the springs here. Wait a second. We have one, two, three, four. Five. Ah, wait a second. How many do I need? One, two, three, four. Hold on, something's wrong. One. Two, three, four, five? Really? <laughs> oh, just kidding you guys. I have five springs. So when I spoke to the people in uh, Rugged Ridge, they said that they were going to send me the rest of the kit. But instead of the rest of the kit, they, had, they sent me a complete kit with four springs and I have one from before <laughs> I have five I can use one for the spare tire I can have a suspension on my spare wheel <laughs> anyway well they say that they don't want me to send the one back so I have a spare spring that I can use as a garage art maybe or something I don't know or I can use it for my Spitfire or for my GT6 they use a single spring <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, but anyways, we're gonna put them to the side now and we're gonna keep going with the brake lines and I'll show you something funny there as well All right, so yesterday I started working on this long line like I said and I realized that I Should find a way to bend this easier because to bend these two lines here Took me a while and my uh, thumbs still hurt so I thought that maybe I should order bending pliers because this has way too many bends in it and I just don't want to do that by hand. And today as I was sitting at work and I was thinking and I was like, you know what, I think that Eugene mentioned something about bending pliers. So as soon as I came home, I went to his magic box and sure enough, there are bending pliers in it. <laughs> So, I hurt my thumbs for no reason. Thank you, Eugene. All right, I think we have something here that we can work with. The only thing is here we still need to make this last bend, but that's gonna be after we put the fitting on and we flare it. And the other side as well. This one needs to be shortened a little bit and then we're gonna flare it. We're gonna put the fitting and flare it and then we're gonna be ready for the last bend. Here for this side though, this is a special fitting. For here, I think it's a half inch. The other ones are three eighths, I believe. But this, this one, this one, and this one are different than all the others. And I got some more fittings today. That's the line that I told you that I ordered and it comes with some fittings here, so I believe I have the right fittings here. So, all right, this is all we have as fittings. All of them are for 316th tube, but the threads are different, like this is M12, 3, 8, 24. So these are the ones actually the same as these ones. So we're gonna put them together. This is M10, we don't have metric. Another M10, how come? Oh, this is bubble, this is inverted, okay. And this is half inch, 7 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths. We know for sure that we don't need this, so that's what's left. We have two of each. And most of them I won't even need. This is good, this we have four of them. So that's good. And these two are half inch, 20, inverted. So I guess these are the ones we need. They fit like a glove. Okay, so we have the one for here and the one for here. 
this looks like it's smaller. I think, oh, this might be 9 16 and this might be 3 8 I don't know. When we take them out, we'll see what they are exactly. And if you don't, if we don't have them, we're gonna have to reuse these. But I believe that they're pretty reusable. <laughs> Anyways, but you know what? I'm gonna call it a night because it's late. We've done quite a bit today. Even though I wasn't planning to, I didn't even change today. But we've done a good job. I'm happy. So we're gonna keep going tomorrow. Good night for now.